New tonight, Governor Abbott has issued a new executive order. It stops local officials from introducing any capacity limits on businesses if trauma service areas reach the old 15% threshold. This comes a day after our regional hospitalizations were the first in Texas to surpass that 15% mark. Today, you'll see it's down to 14.7%. That's good news, but hospitalizations still remain higher than they've been in months. That and the first Delta variant confirmed in Beaumont remain top of mind for Southeast Texas officials. They continue the push to get people vaccinated. As 12 News reporter James Grant explains, the uptick in hospitalizations are impacting more than just doctors. Days, this latest surge in cases has placed renewed stress on Southeast Texas hospitals and it's impacting patients. It's all very taxing on him more than anybody. Brandy Profits says her son James was diagnosed with a ruptured appendix earlier this week while undergoing a CAT scan at a Beaumont urgent care clinic. He needed to be operated on immediately, but every hospital she called in Southeast Texas said they were diverting patients. All of the big ones in and around Houston, they called they called Baytown, they called Lake City. And no luck. So Prophet says they had to go north. So I said, start calling Lufkin, Tyler, Nacogdoches, you know, where it's not as such a, um, you know, populated. Prophet finally found a surgeon in Lufkin who could accommodate James. This Southeast Texas family is one of many, feeling the added stress of the latest rise in COVID cases. Eddie Burley with Acadian Ambulance Service says the amount of COVID patients they've transported has doubled in the last week. We're seeing the, the patients are a lot younger than they were in the first uh, waves of COVID. Burley says the ambulance service is stretched thin right now and they've had to transport people as far as Corpus Christi due to local hospitals running out of beds. We're transferring further out than we normally do just to find places for these patients to get that higher level of care. Profit, meanwhile, is asking herself what if as far as the timing of her son's surgery. It's just horrible the timing. You know, if it had been a week ago, it would have been a completely different situation. Burley encourages unvaccinated people to get the shot, not just to protect themselves, but to help alleviate the stress local paramedics and hospitals are facing. And also a bit of good news tonight. Prophet did tell me that her son, James, is out of the hospital and doing well. Live in Beaumont, James Grant, 12 News.